Pacing through the library, this is a boy on a mission. A mission to spare thousands the pain of tricky schoolwork. For this is the homework helper. At just 12 years old, Josh Alderton introduces himself as a CEO. The Year 8 student at Norwich's City Academy started his Homework Helper website last month and he got the idea from his maths teacher. He said to the whole class, wouldn't it be great if someone created a Homework Helper website? And he had a completely wacky name for it. But I went home and I thought, well, I might as well do this because, you know, it would be a good opportunity. So I did. And I was trying to think of a name for it and I came up with the name simply does, does what it says on the can, Homework Helper. The website features a series of tips and videos to help with everything from algebra and spelling to the English Civil War. It's already had over a thousand hits, with people from across the world tuning in for homework guidance. Most of them have also been England, Norwich, a few in Essex, a few in Oslo in Denmark, a few in Australia, a few in America, a couple in uh, Germany, one in Africa, and you know, so from all over the globe really, people needing homework help. Josh is now looking to expand his website with a team of other students. The youngster has hosted a week of assemblies to tell his entire school about the homework helping project. And his success has come as no surprise to his teachers. Josh is um, an exceptional student. Um, he was in my form tutor in year seven. And um, he, he, he started to shine there, really. Um, he wrote a small, a small novel, in fact, that we sent off to get published. Um, he's always been an independent worker, and he takes things on himself, and usually to the nth degree. And this website is a, a typical example of that. Josh has grand plans for the expansion of his debut website. He says that one day he wants to run his own business. So watch this space for the next entrepreneurial venture of the Homework Helper. Rob Setchell, Mustard TV, Norwich.